Hi everyone, today we are looking at a gift that Loungefly sent, so we're going to do a little unboxing, take a look at what they sent over, and then I want to hear your thoughts on the products. So first I do want to give a huge shout out to our Twitter subscribers and Patreon patrons. Thank you so much for your support, it means an absolute ton to me, and if you want to participate, please check out the links on screen. So let's get this box open and see what they sent. It looks like we have the sleeping Pikachu wallet. Very adorable. Now we're going to take a better look at each of these things um, after I get everything out. So hang on a moment. And here we have the matching Sleeping Pikachu backpack, which features a lot of cute sleeping Pokemon. And I kind of had an idea that that might be in here, which is why you might see Sleeping Jigglypuff and also Muna in the background. And finally, we have the very, very cool um, water type evolution. We got the Squirtle Evolution backpack, which features Squirtle and its evolutions. So let's take a look at each of these in a little bit more detail. This is the Sleeping Pikachu wallet. As you can see, um, the Pikachu design is kind of on there in front. It's not part of the wallet. So you have um, a nice design there. Putting it in your pocket, um, maybe a little bit more difficult than some more traditional designs. However, it really doesn't stick out that much. So if you're looking at it from the other side, um, you can see that really hypothetically, <laughs> it shouldn't it shouldn't be too bad for um, wherever you usually put your wallet. And then on the back side, it does have the Pokemon and Loungefly badge right here. Um, and then you have the sleeping Pokemon um, print on the fabric. Um, I don't honestly know what to call the materials. Unfortunately, I'm not a textile person, <laughs> so that's not my area of expertise. However, um, I do know that there are some super cute designs on here. I'll give you a closer look. So you have Piplup, Pikachu, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Snorlax, and that might be it. This is the same design that's featured on the backpack. Um, inside the wallet, You have a place for maybe an ID license right there, and then also um, credit cards on the other side. This features a zipper pocket, so I think this would probably be a good place for um, other cards or maybe even coins. Um, it doesn't open too far, so it may be difficult to dig coins from out of here, um, but that is one possibility. And then on the other side, um, I'm sure you could fit probably more than one ID and then you have easy access to push up through here. So if you are getting carded for alcohol or something, if you're an adult, um, <laughs> easy access. Um, or if you just keep a credit card there that you often pull out, I think that's very convenient. So let me know what you guys think of the Sleeping Pikachu wallet in the comments. We're going to take a look at the backpack next. The Sleeping Pikachu backpack features the same uh, Sleeping Pikachu design, except obviously much bigger. And then you do have this also as a separate piece on the front, um, on the front pocket there. And like I said, the design here is the same. So you have the same Pokemon and stuff, obviously super cute. I did take off all the um, packaging here. The material they use the back for the back strap is extremely soft and nice. Um, the backpack does have side pockets, so you can put any little treasures in here if you want to save, you know, anything in easy to reach places. Those are accessible to you. I wanted to show you inside the pockets as well here. The front pocket 
has some nice space where you can put some uh, easy access, you know, items that maybe you're, you use often. If you're using this as a backpack, um, personally, just as an aside, I have uh, a Loungefly mini backpack featuring bug Pokemon, which I actually just use as kind of a decoration for my room. You may have seen it in a few videos. Um, so I know that not everyone is going to be using this as an actual backpack maybe out in their day-to-day -day life. Um, but just, just going over this as if you were possibly using it for an actual bag. And then I did want to highlight the interior fabric here is um, very cute as well. Features got to catch them all along with clouds and stars kind of going with that sleepy theme. So very cute interior as well. And then inside the backpack, you have plenty of space. I mean, it's still a mini backpack, so it's maybe not one you want to take to uh, college with all your textbooks. Um, not, not made for a medical student maybe, um, but definitely has enough room for maybe, you know, day-to-day -day life to use as maybe, you know, a purse replacement or something. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Obviously extremely cute and I know that it was very popular on Twitter as well when we shared it. All right, finally, let's take a look at the Squirtle Evolution Triple Pocket Backpack from Loungefly. Now this is a little bit larger um, than the Sleeping Pikachu backpack and here, here's a side by side so you can tell this one actually does have more height to it it's not uh you know not like a perspective thing with this being back here or something being smaller it is physically bigger than that um sleeping pikachu backpack one of the cool things that i noticed when i was taking out all the shipping materials and packaging here was that the art continues and maybe i didn't look close enough at the product photos for these um triple pocket backpacks but um, I didn't actually realize that you had the full Blastoise art there and that when you open the pocket it showed through so that that was pretty cool um, and obviously you know if you're somewhere and you're packing up um, it definitely looks nice when you are when you have that open and it kind of um, shows the extra art there so otherwise the pockets themselves the middle one is as deep as the bottom of the bag so that's pretty nice you have you know a decent amount of room in there the smallest pocket here featuring squirtle shows war turtles the bottom of war turtles art there and then is a smaller space um, and probably you know you can put your most used items in there and then finally we have the main pocket featuring blastoise And this big pocket also contains a divider here so you can maybe put some stuff in the big part and then also have a small section to kind of separate out maybe smaller easier to lose items as well when you're um, packing up your stuff and taking it around so that is quite helpful and of course it does have side pockets right here um, not huge side pockets but you know nice for knickknacks or whatever um, you would find helpful to put in there. I did also want to note the interior fabric here features a very nice, cute, simple, minimalistic um, kind of water, what I, what I would describe as a water type design. Um, so all in all, very cool. And I do really like these triple, these evolution backpacks. And I'm kind of considering getting the Bulbasaur one um, and I'm actually hoping that they get to generation two because I would love to see a Chikorita version of this backpack. So crossing my fingers there, hope, uh, hope maybe Loungefly is listening. I'll send, I'll send them my idea, but let me know in the comments what evolution line you would like to see featured in a Loungefly backpack. And then also maybe what you thought of each of the items here today. Again, thank you to Loungefly for sending these over. Really appreciate it. And please leave us a like, a comment, and subscribe if you're interested in more Pokemon merch. You can find us on social media, usually as at PokeJungle or Instagram, PokeJungle Network. Thanks, everyone.